Number 10. Dida Proposes Ranking of Kings Look, we've got nothing but love for Boji and his exquisite fantasy adventures. But there is one moment that gave fans pause, and it was this random, out-of-nowhere marriage proposal. Dida's redemption into a kinder, humbler figure was thoroughly well executed, to the extent he even found sympathy for tortured villainess Miranjo. That's all well and good, but we didn't expect him to immediately get down on one knee, forgive her of all her crimes, and take her as a wife. Now hang on for a second, Romeo. She may have been conflicted, but she still did some really messed up stuff, including murdering Boji's mother. Don't you think this lets her off the hook a little too easy? Plus, what's the age difference between you two? Number 9. Dumpster Fire Ending Mars of Destruction To be fair, this entire OVA is shockingly bad from start to finish. It's just having the gall to try and crowbar in a twist ending, and still failing at it, is another layer of terrible. After a lengthy, horrendously animated battle with a bunch of alien soldiers, bland protagonist number one learns the shocking truth that <gasps> the aliens are the real Earthlings and humanity are the aliens. Are you shocked to your very core? No? Yeah, well, no one else was. A terrible end to a terrible anime whose only accomplishment is lowering the collective bar. Number 8. Gohan vs. Hollywood Dragon Ball Super Remember when Gohan was the strongest of all Saiyans? Where he had to learn to take the mantle of his father, wrestle between his rage, and what it means to have true strength, and be an otherwise wholly investable and relevant character? Yeah, we miss those times as well. Once that hits the papers, Gohan's life will fall apart faster than you can count my non-existent wrinkles! The whole great Saiyaman gig was pushing it, but to then lose a fight to some random actor called Barry? <gasps> What'd you do? <clears throat> You're the guy who took down Cell. This should have been the easiest win ever. Number 7. Slideshow Ending The Promise Neverland Now this is the one that broke our hearts. How a second season could fall so far from the heights of greatness, we'll never know. Though trying to squeeze over a dozen volumes of source material into a minuscule episode run might have something to do with it. I'll get you. Instead of giving us a bittersweet ending as Emma and the others reunite after freeing themselves of the demon threats, we're pretty much given a PowerPoint presentation, complete with stills of everyone hugging, looking happy, and pretending they didn't just flush a once-beloved adaptation down the crapper. Number 6. Lane Wipes Out Vault Beyblade Burst Surge we know Beyblade isn't exactly the pinnacle of interwoven storytelling, but even by those standards, it should know better not to elevate a new cast of characters by taking a dump over all of its predecessors. Now give me more! I need more! Scorch it all! This especially applies to Vault, the most beloved protagonist of the whole Burst franchise. So what did they do with him? Bring him back, just so the new villain can one-shot him easily and throw his entire character by the wayside. You wouldn't see Tyson putting up with this. Disaster! Number 5. No Faith Shipping Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds Fans thought their dream pairing was about to come true. Fans thought that a Yu-Gi-Oh! couple was about to be canonized for the first time. Aki. Unfortunately for them, all their hype triggered the show's ultimate trap card, Blue Balls. I'm 
あなたに会えてよかった。Before Yusei and his motorcycle can hit the road, he has one final goodbye with Aki. They come so close to confessing their feelings, but both bite it back and instead decide to separate amicably, depriving 5D fanatics of what would have been a pitch perfect ending. Number 4 Kagura's Death Boruto Naruto Next Generations A sizable side character who had been one of Boruto's earliest allies, it's not so much that Kagura was taken out that had fans up in arms, it was more so the manner of his departure. <laughs> This shinobi, who had shown himself to be highly skilled, a swordsman of the mist, and yet he got backstabbed out of nowhere, killed off by a complete nobody who wasn't even the main villain of the arc. <laughs> the only thing worse was having to see Boruto's ugly cry face. Number three, Ash loses all the leagues. Pokemon. We know the journey to become a Pokemon master is tough, but you would have thought that it wouldn't have taken Ash over 20 years to actually win at least one damn tournament. He sweeps through gym battles, but when it comes to the finale of a league, he flubs it. Indigo League, lost because his Charizard refused to obey him. Charizard, you can't just quit in the middle of my most important match ever! Evergrande Conference, defeated by a Meowth in a Fedora. Lumio's conference lost to a mega evolved Charizard, even when he had a clear type advantage. <sighs> If not for his Alola win, fans might have given up on Ash altogether. Number two, no consent, no thanks. Sword Art Online Alicization. This isn't the first time that SAO had dipped their toes into the unpleasant territory of helpless female characters being attacked by disgusting individuals with only one thing on the brain. This, however, is probably its most egregious example. Because he's scum of the earth, Ryos forces Yujio to make a choice stand and watch as he takes advantage of some captured girls, or try to intervene and have his eye explode in the process. <laughs> While the situation is purposefully unpleasant, it's presented in such an excessive manner, fans found the whole thing to be needlessly grotesque. <laughs> Number 1 WTF Ending Platinum End What the hell happened here? It's almost impossible to believe the masterminds behind Death Note came up with such a, well, stupid conclusion to what had already become a dwindling series. With the battle royale between the angels and their respective humans finally concluded, a new god is chosen. And out of all the respective candidates, the leads decided it was best to give the role to the psychologically damaged, underaged emo infamous for wanting to take his own life. So, what does he do? He takes his own life. But now that he's God, he takes all life in the universe with him. Are you serious? Energy, Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.